What's up, y'all? Cinema Geeks is back at it again, okay? We just want to... <laughs> celebrate you, okay? Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. Leave a like if you like, or dislike if you want. Um, and this is Cinema Geeks, let's get into it. What are we about to review today? All right, so today we're gonna be trying, uh, checking out a new trailer called Saved by the Bell. You mean like the show Saved by the Bell from the 80s and 90s? Yep. That I watched before I went to school every morning? Screech. We got Zach. Zach. We Kelly got Kapowski. Kelly. We got AC Slater. Slater. We you got, got uh, What's that girl's name? Jesse. Jesse. We got what's the other girl's name? Lisa. Lisa Turtle, right? Lisa, Lisa Turtle, Turtle, yeah. And you got the other girl? Nobody cares about the other girl. Jesse's replacement. Oh, I don't even know. Because Elizabeth Berkeley leaves the show real quick and then oh, she Lisa Slater gets another girlfriend who's kinda oh, like Elizabeth Berkeley. Snap. What's her name? Fuck, I forgot that. Um, but you talking about that show? That show. That show is coming back to obviously NBC is creating their own streaming service. Oh God, the streaming wars are happening. It's gonna be called Peacock. Uh, is Peacock even out yet? Is it out? No, it's, it's I think not. it's it's debuting November twenty fifth. Well, they're coming out with a reboot, a reboot of Saved by the Bell. I don't know if any of the new cast is in it. Is, are any of the cast in it? Do you Saved know? by the Bell. Yeah, for this reboot. Yes, all of them except Dustin Diamond and Screech. Yeah, and I think uh, Principal Belding. Yeah. How are they all in there? What are they doing? Like their parents or something? Yeah, I think... Uh, their kids are going in? It's going to be like Degrassi, the next generation, where the... Pretty much. Once Zach and Kelly have a kid, and he's the, the governor of California. Whoa. I know, right? Zach. He said, time out, let me count these ballots. <laughs> and then... Change to balance. <laughs> All right, so yo, let's uh, let's check this trail out. Let's see what what, what we're in store for, right? Yeah. yeah. Roll the film. And now your trailer presentation. Yo, Mama. Sorry, Doctor Mama. How do you think this year's gonna go for these new students? I'm psyched. You're excited for the first day of school. <laughs> Why is everybody so rich? Are you ready for my party Saturday night? I got DJ Khaled's baby to make you a playlist. It's okay. Time out. What is up with these kids? <laughs> In attendance will be the governor of California. Max, Dad? You look amazing. Your hair's fire. My dad's also coming. I don't care about your dad, Spencer. I just care about Zach and Kelly. <laughs> all want these new kids to feel welcome. Let's see what happens. Can we talk? Did you just sit backwards in a chair? Wow, I've never seen anyone do that in my life. It's not gonna work unless we get to know them. You only know how base I look to kids like you. Hot kids. Privileged kids. Privileged kids. Space act where I finally felt like I belong. This place is magic. <laughs> Damn, I love magic. Hey, Max, actually I ordered cheese on mine. Take a look in your pocket. Does this place ever stop being weird? Uh, uh, one. A one, two, three! The old gang back together again. Will you go to dinner with me? Stop eavesdropping. We're not. We're the Bayside Acapella group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're the man, coach. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. A single childless adult parties with kids. Bring that trailer. We're back. We're back after the trailer. Uh, Saved by the Bell reboot on a Peacock series. I just have one thing to say. You know, it gets really weird when it's like you're bringing back a sitcom, but it doesn't have that sitcom feel because they've sh they're shooting it like there's like no crap just a weird feeling and then i feel like it could fall into this place of feeling like kind of like cliche and cringy i don't know because it's like no it's not the same thing of what saved by the bell was because they shot it in front of a live audience right yeah yeah it doesn't have that it's like a it's like a different it's like a drama it feels like a drama i was watching right it was like i don't know, I don't know. yeah I, I felt like it was like a degrassi spin-off 
It felt more like a Degrassi spinoff than a Saved by the Bell sequel. Um, I will say, based off this trailer, I'm actually not looking forward to this. I'm going to give this trailer a 1 out of 5. Damn, that's the lowest he's ever given a trailer, I'm a, Because I... Cinema I, Geek. This is a new Cinema Geek's first. I, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 5. Um, and it may be a little bit biased because watching this, I feel as though, like, every shot I saw was, like, a piece of my childhood was being ruined. Um, I just feel as though this, this didn't... It, doesn't look like it's staying true to what Saved by the Bell was. I feel as though Saved by the Bell was like a, it, it came across as a very genuine coming of age story with teenage. This one just seems like a script. Oh, y'all, we're gonna put you in some crazy ass scenarios and you guys act out. That's what I got from this. There was no, like, I don't know, like, watching the original Saved by the Bell, like, Zack's character and AC Slater's character were, like, very real people. And then when they clashed, you were like, damn, man, like, I feel bad because I like Zack, but he was messing up. Like, he shouldn't have gone for Kelly. That's what's gonna happen between Zach's son and that uh, the the only other black kid I think. Besides, there's a black chick on the show too, right? Yeah. Uh, I like how you saw uh, the uh, the girl who plays Kelly. They don't forgot her name. Very briefly. Mm -hmm. She looks a little bit. Why did you like it? I, it was more so sarcasm because she looks a little bit um, bigger. Oh. So there, she was just like, "Yo, just edit me out of this." Show. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh. Um, I said I think I'm gonna give it probably like a a, a two, only because I wasn't really blown away from it. But then again, I wasn't a huge, huge, huge Saved by the Bell fan, so this is probably like what minor episodes. I've seen a few episodes of Saved by the Bell, but yeah. I know from what I saw that did not that did not look even familiar from what I was looking at here. So uh, I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of that in this. That's this seems like every episode is gonna be like this. Yeah, they're all on that drugs. episode is gonna be yeah. like everything like this. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? But I could be wrong. I could. Yeah, be it's a trailer. You're, you're basing it off the trailer. What they fed you is that feeling that you got. But you see, like, okay, well, I'm gonna compare I'm this to it's... Cobra Kai real quick. Cobra Kai compared to Karate Kid. Well, you've never seen a Cobra Kai trailer. I've never seen a Cobra Kai trailer. No, I saw the Cobra Kai trailer. I never watched a Cobra Kai trailer. It when you watch it, it I feel as though it gave you a, a little bit of what to movie, expect yeah. of the show. But then Karate Kid was a movie. Saved by the Bell wasn't shot like a movie. This is shot like no, a, no, a, no, 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 an hour long. That's not what every I'm, episode. But that's not what I'm trying to bring up. I'm just trying to say that in the Cobra Kai trailer, mm -hmm. they remain true to what the Karate Kid movie so was. So you're saying this doesn't remain true? This Saved by the Bell trailer does not resemble what Saved by the Bell was in the past mm -hmm. by any means. How so? Though? Um, this this seems like there's so many different characters. It's like hard to follow. Where there were a lot of characters. Well, Saved by the Bell, it was really just about Zack, mm -hmm. Screech. Mm -hmm. There is no Screech. They didn't have a Screech-like character in there. It was really about Zack and Screech. And then as the show went on, oh, it became cool. about Kelly, AC Slater, Jesse, all of them. But it was originally yo, Zack and Screech, they're in the 8th grade, doing the little 8th grade shit. AC Slater comes in, Rivalry between him and Zach. Now that picks up. Kelly Kapowski's in school. They both after her. rivalry picks up. This is some type of rivalry, I think, with uh, Zach's uh, son and one of the other two characters. It seems like they're trying to build. But yeah, I guess those dynamics are not being carried into these characters fully. This all the way. this seems At least like we didn't it's get that from here. This seems like fully. it's made for kids, mm -hmm. which it which it seems like it is, and not. It, it seems more, like it's more, I think teenagers probably Okay, it's teenagers. teenagers It doesn't seem like it's geared for Saved by the Fell Saved by the Bell fans Of before, uh, before. It doesn't seem nah, like it's, it's, it's for them Yeah, yeah, yeah 
Yeah, like Cobra not Kai not. appeals to it's not the not people yet. who watch Karate Kid and kids. You didn't, you see what I'm saying? Like this yeah. does not. It, it's like marketing for. Old but then uh, they did bring back the cast to try to trigger that. That to get those old fans back into it, but I, I, I can see based it. off the writing and the scripts. It's oh, like, you were gonna say something. Who's this made by? Maybe that'll give us some insight of what oh, we're looking uh, for. This is made by Tracy Deacon. And what do you know what she's done? In the she past? wrote Thirty Rock. Uh, I mean, she, Thirty Rock is good. Thirty Rock's a good show, so I don't know. And she worked on the Mindy Project. Uh, you got two good shows. Uh, I don't really watch Mindy Project that much, but I think you know, what I heard yeah. it was pretty pretty yeah. solid. Also, so I mean, those are two good comedy shows. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a trailer we watch. It just seems kind of off. It's probably throw. Maybe they tried to throw too much shit in it, and they couldn't really deliver that message across. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who the other writers on the show are either. So I, I don't know. But um, look, hey, that's that's what oh, we got. Oh, so sorry. Her name is Tracy Wigfield, not Deacon. Tracy Wigfield. Wigfield. Anyway, we're moving on to. How hot is it? It's just, it's kind of cold. Yeah, I don't have peacock. You got a pee for peacock? Yeah, I, I don't have. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I don't know. So far, I, I'm not. I don't have anything that's uh, bringing me to peacock. And but, this is not it. Yeah, this is not it. I mean, damn! How come peacock didn't get the the reunion for Fresh Prince? Also, that was NBC too, right? Yeah. Peacock, y'all fucking up. HBO Max got that. HBO Max got that before Peacock? HBO Max has that, yeah. That's something that, I, I, I don't know, not really, but it's like, I don't know, it's on my radar, so I would. Save by the Bell's not doing it yet, though, to get me to get that app, so I, I don't I don't know. I'm just gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know. Maybe, maybe when they do those free trials, seven days, try this for seven days. Yeah. I'll try that. And that's going to have to be like after a series has fully aired. Because I don't know if they're going to do those week by week joints. I don't know. This is not it. Yeah, Peacock. They do they, I think Peacock, maybe they may have friends though. Because I think friends is a reunion. Friends on HBO Max. Oh, shit. That's whack. If they get the reunion too. No, oh, no, not the reunion. I'm talking about friends episode. No, yeah, they probably, they're probably like, that's probably like syndication of but if they get the reunion too, damn, John. There's a Friends reunion? Yeah, they're doing a reunion for Friends yo, too. Yo, yo, stop, man. Oh, you just don't just make them? make new shows. So oh, you don't want to see your, your favorite, you don't want to see your favorite Joe, Joey, Chandler, I mean, like, how do you, Monica, as an actor, right? Like, you, Rachel, you've done, uh, you had like 40 years acting, and in the beginning of your 40 years acting, you did something yeah, really when, good. But when were you under me? And now you're trying to get success for the same thing that got you famous four years prior. Like, I don't think it's really them. I think it's more so the fans probably. I'm just saying, saying like, as them. an actor, how do you feel like having to go back to work for this? Like, don't you want to do more projects? Don't but you want to grow past it? Yeah, them? but I'm not. I wouldn't say that they're not growing past it. I'm just saying I would just say like, oh, you know, it's a big show. The fans like kind of want to see us all get back together, the band get back together and whatnot. I think it's more of like that. Yeah, I if, if it was them. for if it was for like a movie, sure. But to get back into like, the oh, same. we're gonna get oh, into this fan? whole not, series. So you're not a fan of that? You're not a fan of seeing like them get back for one last ride, one last big hoo ha, whatever you want to call it. So no, not really, because we saw that. I mean, in the last people, episode. People that want that though. There's people that I. I mean, those people see, like those that. people that want that are the same people that are going to keep this whole cycle of uh bringing back old material bringing back old material yes. nothing is never gonna stay i mean yeah, I mean, yeah that, that, that's what the, the majority of the people want and they're gonna answer that's, it's if it's, it's really up to the the studios they're the ones that are green lighting and saying yep we're gonna we're gonna do this it's we like the that. studios are like oh shit covid19 happened um well i don't know what the future is gonna hold so let's just do what worked. Friends? Yeah, that was in the past. All right. Yeah, let's do that shit again. Well, Save by the bell. Oh, shit, that worked. But that's the again. natural way of studios work. They work like computers. They're not looking at all the, the art of it. They're looking at the numbers. This was a success. We can do that again. No, just I understand. I understand. I get it. I'm just saying, like, it's whack. It's like, Damn, it's son. whack. And there you have it. So you oh, I'm going to say you. that this is uh, ice cold for me. Um, <laughs> this is, this like, is this is a chill. To, this is a chilly day for me right here. This is chilly. If this was coming 
But it like, may be alright though. I, don't I know would, in order for me to really watch this, it may be alright. The the fan base, the, the the feedback has to be really high. Yeah, that right. Has to be really I think that's high. what, but that's what I think it is though. Like right now, I think the demand for a save by by the Bell reboot is high, and I think that's why Peacock is doing it. How they're is not it just high. They're not just they're not just pulling this out of their ass and saying, yeah, this is gonna work. I'm sure there had to be some type of uh, demand. For, for them to break okay, like so, Saved by but, the Bell. Okay, so follow me here. If there is a demand for Saved by the Bell to come back, mm-hmm. who is asking for that demand? Saved by the Bell watchers, right? The people who grew up watching Saved by the Bell. Or the, not even. People that are, have been watching reruns, they probably want to see the show come back in a more modern modern day. I don't How know. old do you think those people are? Watching that are watching it now? Look, those reruns that are saying, oh, we want to bring it back. Do you think they're teenagers? Because I don't feel as though this is marketed to those people who are like, yo, let's bring Saved by the Bell back. But it could. But but, what they accomplish with the trailer could be something else by what they're trying to shoot it for. I think they're trying to shoot for those those viewers. They may have failed. We'll see, I guess, when the shit comes out, though. I don't know, I'm not really that invested in it. Saved by the Bell. I was a really big fan of the original series, Saved by the Bell College Years. Big fan of that series. Uh, this, not looking forward to it. Hey, sorry. Sorry, Peacock. You haven't pulled me in yet. Ha <laughs> ha uh, ha. But yo, again, this is Cinema Geeks. Let us know what you think of this trailer. Leave your thoughts in the uh, comments down below. Yeah, and bro. subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like. Definitely, definitely. And that notification bell as well. And yo, we out of here today, all right? Peace. Hey guys, I don't know if you heard, but Waves Club YouTube channel is splitting up into three different sections. You're going to have Waves Club for all your comedy skits. Then you're going to have Press Play University for all your dope educational videos. And then we got Cinema Geeks for all your film-related and media topics. And this will all be called Waves Digital.